Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see um, why is your person staying quiet, why aren't they communicating, what's going on with them, why they're not responding, or why have they blocked you. It is going to be a general reading. If you are a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email will be listed below the video. Okay, so with the hangman, there's obviously a stagnation or a standstill um, that's being strongly indicated in the energies right now. And perhaps that's due to the fact that this person is not talking and is not communicating. That's causing the connection to lose momentum. Um, it could also be that this person is purposely avoiding to, um, you know, to move this connection forward. Um, it could be their way of purposely or even unintentionally sabotaging the relationship. So, um, if you feel like this person has pulled away, stopped communicating just when everything was going good um, and when the connection, you know, had um, plans to move forward, all of this, all of a, all of a sudden this person um, shifted their energy, they've pulled away, they're withdrawn. So this is their way of stalling things. This is their way of stalling the, you know, the progress of this connection. Maybe this person, even though they may want a relationship with you, they may not be ready or they may want you, but not necessarily a relationship. So definitely a stagnation or a standstill. I mean, you've got temperance in reverse. Um, it could also be that this person doesn't want to rush things. So maybe they just want to casually date right now. They don't necessarily want a relationship and maybe, you know, the pacing, which might have felt natural for you, did not feel right for them. So, you know, pacing is so important in a relationship. It could be, you know, what essentially breaks two people apart. So, temperance in reverse. Maybe this person feels as though you were putting pressure on them or they felt like you were rushing, um, rushing them, rushing them to, you know, for them to um, commit or rushing for them to, you know, to make a move, solidify this connection with you. Um, but again, I, I'm just seeing that this person has really has pulled away, okay, has really pulled away. And um, I see that the connection is losing momentum and that they're purposely stalling things. I mean, you've got the high priestess in reverse as well. I don't think the cards are reversed. No, that's interesting. Your intuition could possibly be telling you something about this person. It could potentially also be warning you about this person, warning you about to, um, you know, it's telling you to follow your gut and maybe it's, you're, you got intuitive associations and not just around this person, but you ignored your intuition. Okay. So some of you are not following your intuition right now and your actions, um, in particular with this person and with the situation feel like they're contrary to your intuition okay so don't be afraid to ask your intuition questions don't be afraid to ask yourself questions um, because your intuition is what can potentially illuminate a path forward for you and this person um, I'm also seeing that you know she is because she's the garden of your intuition it could be a powerful indicator that you need to trust your feelings more, okay? Trust your gut feelings more. And I think there is a warning or a sign or a message about this person that ha your intuition has been trying to communicate to you, but you have not been listening. This could also be a signal for you on this person to be honest about what's going on with them. So they're not, they could be guiding a secret. They might not be telling you how they feel. Like if you know, they might potentially might be losing interest in you. And instead of telling you and being honest to you up front, they decided to pull away. So the high priestess in reverse is encouraging someone to be more upfront, more honest and follow their intuition more. There potentially could be someone else. Okay. There may be a third party situation that you are not being made aware of. Um, or maybe you already know of this third party situation, but you're trying to pretend like it doesn't bother you when, you know, it really does. But again, you're ignoring your intuition. So your actions or this person's actions feel very, very contrary to what is happening, um, to what's happening um, on the inside. Um, a lot of synchronistic events have taken place around this person and around, uh, you know, this connection. So for example, um, maybe there's a lot of synchronicities coming in for you. Um, and you have been receiving a lot of synchronicities about them. You might have received, you might be coming across a lot of, uh, like their names constantly everywhere you look, you hear their name being mentioned or you see their name being brought up. Um, you may be seeing a lot of repeated patterns um, and like number patterns. Um, there's a lot of synchronistic 
events um, to do with this person's name or to do with this person. Okay, pay attention. And the reason why it's being repeated again and again is because you're not necessarily learning the... Um, you're not listening to the message. You're not responding to the message. Um, I also feel like your intuition knows why this person's pulled away. But you're choosing not to believe your intuition. Because you're avoiding to face the truth. And you're, uh, one of the reasons is because this person is losing interest. And the connection has lost momentum. But you're refusing to accept that as a truth. Even though deep down inside, intuitively, you know that there may be some truth to that. Um, this person may also feel as though you don't really, like you guys lack an emotional connection. Um, they could also be a bit of a player, so they might not necessarily, you know, be looking for a relationship, even though they may have told you otherwise, but they might not be ready or available for a relationship. Um, they might be toying with your emotions, they may be toying with the situation here, so do be careful. And your intuition could be trying to confirm you know, or has confirmed this all along, but you're ignoring your intuition. Um, the world card in reverse. Look, this person will be back. You guys still have unfinished business uh, with this individual. It might not necessarily mean that this person is coming back to stay. Okay, this is this is someone who could end up being this fluctuating presence in your life, or maybe has been. Okay, this person is in and out, hot and cold, on and off. They can't make up their mind about what it is that they, that you know, they want. I don't see that this is someone who can build a healthy um, foundational structure. I feel like the, the foundational structure in which this connection is built on is feeling a little bit flimsy right now. And that could have something to do with this person's coming and going. I'm also seeing that someone here is repeating a lot of patterns. Um, a lot of patterns which they might not even be aware of it. So, you know, when the relationship gets serious, they pull away. And they might not even, and they've done this in the past time and time again, but they might not even be aware that they're doing it. Um, this isn't someone who's very affectionate. I see that you're dealing with someone who's a bit closed off. That's better. That's better. Sorry. You're dealing with someone who is, you know, the, the Empress never someone who's, who's not mushy, who's not affectionate. So you're dealing with someone who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, who's not very emotional. Um, you feel a very strong connection to this person. You feel like potentially this is someone. They feel familiar to you in some ways. Okay. They feel like you've known this person. Or maybe you have met this person from the past. Maybe this is you know, a past energy. Someone you have a history with. It could be someone that um, you just feel oddly familiar and comfortable around this person. You potentially could have competition. There may be someone else that this person is talking to. There may be someone else that they're involved with. Um, there may be someone else that they're attached to. The Five of Pentacles, I do feel like, you know, all help, is, all hope is not lost. Um, there is, you're going through a bit of a winter um, in this connection, okay? You're going through a bit of a, um, an, a period of uncertainty, a period of disconnection, but it doesn't necessarily, you know, indicate that hope is lost because the way that the pentacles line up in the church's window like like that look like a look like the light at the end of the tunnel i do feel like they this person will come back again that's not to mean don't take it to mean that this person comes back to stay okay they could or they may very well not if they are if they are you know uh, creating this pattern of coming and going um of being on and off sorry on and off um you have to break that pattern. You have to interrupt that pattern. Otherwise, it will keep playing out. Um, look, this person is obviously very attracted and very drawn to you. Um, but I kind of think that they're not allowing... They're not giving this the time or the attention um, that this connection needs to develop further. Okay? Um, yeah, I feel like there's a choice that they need to make. So they need to... Okay, this coming and going, this on and off, you're a thing, you're not a thing, you're not a thing, they want it, they don't. They need to make up their mind and they need to make a choice. So should you stay, should you leave? Okay, you need to make a choice as well. Um, you know, do they want to, Do they want this? Do they not want this? Do they want a relationship? Do they want something a little bit more casual? Um, or they have to choose between you and someone else, okay? Because right now this person may be putting you in a third-party situation. Maybe you're aware of it. Maybe some of you, your intuition is, you know, um, your intuition is confirming this. Um, for some of you, maybe you're not aware of it at all. But they're putting you in a third-party situation. And, you know, and that's why they continue to treat you like an option rather than a priority. Because there is someone else. And this person's toying with your feelings and is possibly playing the field. 
um, four of wands. Look, there is going to be a reconciliation for some of you. And it is a happy one. You will be reconnecting with this person. But just make sure they're not back to their same to their old ways, okay? Because they have to end up choosing you. And that's that's what the reconciliation is about for some of you. They make that choice and it's you. For others, this person comes back, but my question to you is, are they up to their, their old ways, their same old ways again? You'll have to suss that out. Eight of Pentacles here. Um, you guys are out of alignment with each other. When you're more in alignment with each other, then that's where this person is likely to reach or come back. Okay, so right now your energies are really out of sync um, with one another. And you guys are going through some things. You know, you're going through this winter, this period of winter in the relationship. And whatever it is that you're going through, and even if it's a third party situation, or, you know, if you're going through a period of uncertainty, whatever it is that this person is putting you through, it will pass, okay? The Two of Wands, yeah, I just think this person is not... Two of Wands in reverse, like I don't see them taking any action right now. I feel like your person is purposely stalling things, okay? Because they're not ready for a relationship or they're not ready to face something here. They might not even be ready for reconnection or contact or communication right now. So don't push it. Don't chase them because that's going to push them further away. Um, the Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, I think, you know, I think you've come up as a Knight of Pentacles. I think you want something long term. You want something consistent. You want something stable. I don't think this person is giving you that, which is causing you to feel negative emotions, feel doubts, fears or hesitations. I think they're more the Knight of Wands energy, you know, more about being flighty after something casual, after a little bit of fun, um, which is why, you know, you also need to make that choice because, you know, this relationship, it involves two people and you need to decide what you want and whether they're the person to, you know, meet your needs, meet your expectations. I mean, I did say that you're going through, where's the four, the five of pentacles, you know, a bit of a winter in this connection. You potentially will get your ten of uh, cups, okay, your happily ever after with this individual. For some of you, yes, this person potentially could come back into your life to stay, right? Um, and you could, you know, reconcile your differences and you could really work on things. For others, this person might come back and give you the closure that you need to tie up this chapter and move forward. Um, but I do see that with the Ten of Cups, you know, there is going to be this alignment. There is this you guys coming into alignment with one another, you guys, you know, talking it out, reconciling your differences. There is going to be that potential. This is also someone whom you could potentially end up settling down with, okay? Someone whom you could build a home and a future with because I do see a reunion. Maybe this is someone whom you've already built a home and a family with. So it could be like a ex-wife or an ex-husband, um children i think this is affecting not just you i see that it's affecting children whether it's your children or someone else or their children here um yeah i see children being um impacted by this no contact no communication so it's affecting them as well um emotionally mentally but the ten of cups i do think you know right now you guys are out of alignment once you because right now you're emitting like a different vibrational frequency okay right now really focus on yourself um, and that kind of energy is what's going to re-attract this person back into your life. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye!